Yo dogs, what's happening? TJ here from The Shop Vancouver. This past week I've been getting a ton of questions about the aging process on some of our more natural colored leathers. So I thought I'd walk you through them a little bit, show you three of my pieces that I currently own, aged against new ones. So we'll start, we've got the SS13, which is a camel steer hide. We have our new double helix, Western Cowboy 2, which is a 1.5 millimeter horse hide, aniline dyed, that is oiled and waxed. And then we also have the Kakashibu persimmon astringent Y2 KB140T. Let's start with the Y2. This is the first piece that we got that was sort of this camel color. Uh, when I first got it, I remember looking in the mirror being like, holy fuck, this is really orange. And I really wasn't too sure how it would wear, but really quickly I started to love it. And then over the course of about two years, I didn't do anything to it and it dulled out pretty good. It went from sort of a really bright orange to almost like Kakashibu color. I really like things like this. I really like the sweat marks around the collar, especially under the arms and near the cuffs. With all the oils and everything, it's just dying out really nice and aging. I really love the way this jacket looks, and I'm excited to see our Western cowboy turn more like this. I've talked to uh, Double Helix, and they're gonna send me an age sample of this leather, and he said that it darkens up. So it's gonna be very similar to how the, the SS13 darkens, but I think with being horse hide and having so much more oil and having the wax and all those different characteristics, you're gonna get a, a slightly different looking jacket but you are gonna see this sort of orange yellow color go more brown, very similar to the Kakashibu, which starts out very pink. I don't know really how to describe that color. It's got more of a, a cream tone to it. And same thing with the, with the Kakashibu, how it goes from that cream color. It just really tans out. I mean, here in Vancouver, we don't get a ton of sun. And so for me to get this much sun age in the 10 months that I've had it, I mean, to me, it's pretty impressive. If you were in California or anywhere else that gets more sun, you're gonna get a much more dramatic tanning than probably here. But I'm really excited to see how this leather, I've only had this one a couple of weeks or about a week now. Yeah, a week and a couple of days. And it hasn't really changed color, but you are seeing a lot of shape come into the arms. You're seeing a lot of the, the texture and the leather come out just around the, the hem and around the sleeves. I'm just really excited to see how this ages. It's just gonna take the summer to do it. So pre-orders on this are open. We do have some stock right now. Most of the SS13s are already sold out and I do have some Kakashibu horses still available. If you guys got any questions, feel free to message me, 604-229-2134. Join our little community. You never know what you might get in there. Discounts, high fives, who knows? Okay, uh, you got any questions? Talk to you later, bye.